Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is still in the United States this week on his longest and probably most important tour to date. What has he been up to? I'm Jeremy Lawrence and this is Bernd Boosman and you're watching Inside AB. Okay, Bernd, the historic face-to-face -face meeting last week between President Trump and Mohammed bin Salman, MBS, in the White House. Uh, what message did they send to the world? Well, I think the main message that they want to send to the world on both sides is that after eight years of what was really kind of a very tense and often you know, not good relationship between the Saudis and the Obama administration, mm. that things are good and in Trump's words, perhaps better than ever before, uh, both in terms of ties between governments. Trump has been very supportive of Mohammed bin Salman since you know, the beginning, mm. uh, and as has Mohammed bin Salman of Trump. And of course, there's lots of economic deals that are going forward, but also, I mean, it's it just, in Trump's words, it's kind of a a new high for the Saudi-US relationship. Okay, okay. Um, you mentioned the economy. Of course, there was a lot of talk about uh, deals to be made. Can you run us through some of the agreements that, that happened? Well, I think the most significant one was that Mohammed bin Salman said that the Saudis are looking at 400 billion in investments in the US over the next four years. So right. that's a very significant uh, investment that they're looking at. Um, on the defense front, um, you know, this is something that Trump made a point to point out that you know Saudi purchases of American defense products and American defense logistics mm -hmm. that they help with, you know, that employs a lot of Americans mm -hmm. and a lot of American companies do a lot of business in Saudi Arabia in that particular sector. Um, and as to that, they announced 12.5 billion in airplane and frigate sales, for example, mm -hmm. um, at that first meeting on at the White House the first day of his visit. And as an interesting aside, Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund announced a 400 million stake in one of Hollywood's biggest talent and event uh, management companies, which you know, that's another thing that the Saudis are looking at is developing the Saudi film industry. And I think mm. that's kind of an interesting part of that. Yeah. And now we've seen DJs going to the kingdom and, and, and plenty more besides. Yeah. There's, there's a whole market opening up there. So, and, and I think that'll be huge going forward. Right. Right. OK. Um, but MBS wasn't going there just to talk to the Washington sort of clique. He's uh, heading out west this week, isn't he? So um, what's on the cards there? Well, it's interesting. He has lots of meetings with, for example, tech companies like Google and Apple planned uh, when he heads out west. And, you know, technology is going to play a big part of Saudi Arabia's transformation over the next few years, mm. especially, you know, they have you know, Neom, very high tech city mm. planned for the future. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what comes out of that. Uh, they haven't said what exactly will happen, mm. uh, but if I think it's very likely that some deals will come out of that. Um, mm. Like I said, he's also going to, once he's in California, he's also meeting with you know, entertainment and Hollywood type uh, executives. Um, you know, Saudi Arabia wants to develop its entertainment industry and its theme parks, for example. I mm. mean, now they have tourism plans as well and theme parks will play a part of that. Right. So it'll be interesting to see what he can take away from California when he goes back to Saudi Arabia. Right. OK. I mean, you mentioned Neo. I mean, that, that's slated to be a half a trillion dollar city. Um, so the potential, if these projects come to fruition, is just vast for so many industries to get involved in making these these sectors happen. Yeah. And I mean, he he was very clear at the White House meeting that there will be lots of opportunities for American companies in the mm. future in Saudi Arabia. And I think Neom is probably the best example of that. I mean, there's so much that they've discussed, for example, you know, AI, data-driven sort of smart city features mm. that they'll have at Neom. Mm. A lot of American companies are involved in that, and I'm sure they'll all be kind of jostling to find their way in. Of course, of course. So there's a lot there for, for, for Saudi to gain there by partnering with the right people. But for Trump, of course, he's in search of allies, I guess. What, what's in it for the Trump administration this visit? Well, I think this is kind of... In, in terms of the foreign policy of the Trump administration, this is mm. probably one of the few instances where things have gotten better since he became president. Mm. I mean, a lot of traditional allies, for example, South Korea, Germany, sometimes even with the UK, have mm. been problematic and conscientious. Uh, you know, he's said things about them. They've said things about him. But when it comes to the Saudis, it's been kind of a perfect relationship in terms of foreign policy, mm. which I think for Trump is something he can take away and say, look, I've accomplished this and it's creating American jobs and it's you know benefiting the American economy mm. because X, Y and Z. And you know, that's the message he wants to send at the end of the day. Of course, if he can pull some, some deals out of the hat, then uh, yeah. that's what he wants. 
Okay, well, we'll see what happens with the rest of the week. Uh, when, when's he in the States until? He's in the States until April 7th, so it's quite an extensive trip. He's going to Houston also, um, so it'd be pretty, it's a pretty long voyage. Okay, shows the significance of it. Yeah. Okay, Bert, well, thank you for that. Um, so that's MBS's trip to uh, Washington, to the West and to Houston. Uh, interesting times, let's see what comes of it all. And thanks for tuning into Inside AB. Please do comment, uh, subscribe, um, share, and uh, we'll see you every weekday at 10 a.m. Thank you.